My name is Gronje Mulligan and I am a mature third European student in the National College of Art and Design in Dublin. And my practice has explored the concept of an absent presence. Over the past year, I have been conscious of how increasingly our lives are being mediated by digital screens, creating for me a sense of a divided consciousness of being present, for example, in a Zoom meeting or indeed at a funeral, but being absent in terms of how we experience and interpret our personal interactions with others. My practice has explored the absent presence of family and friends and the sense of the individual in isolation and feeling under threat in a digitized society. And my challenge has been how to materialize that concept. My research, which has involved a process of experimentation, has led me to a multidisciplinary approach, including using print, photography, video, paint, and the use of light boxes. And in my work, you will see concepts of transparency, sometimes using the silhouette, or photographic negatives, or empty public spaces at, den at night to denote that concept. My work explores light, including using the cyanotype process, which allows images to emerge and create their own presence. While in my video work, illuminated foil and light and movement creates a shadow presence. My practice reflects the concept in the layering of acetates and in the use of Japanese segmented gampi paper, which can be seen to act as either a filter or a screen through which the viewer can interpret my work. In my multidisciplinary approach, the choice of materials and processes were very significant to the materialization of that concept. Lux Blue Series 1 is a cyanotype print on Fabriano paper measuring 240 centimeters by 120 centimeters. The original image was a temple oil image of my son, which I photographed, digitally inverted, printed onto acetate and placed on paper, which I had prepared with cyanotype chemicals, which was then activated by the UV rays of the sun. The figure that emerged, partially obscured, appeared to me to be floating in water and for me created that sense of an absent presence and the figure in isolation that I was seeking. The cyanotype process is unpredictable and weather dependent and physically challenging when scaling up and washing and drying. I discovered that by applying polymers as a base for applying acrylic and oil paint, which I've experimented with. The process of inverting the images produced an abstensia lexicon measuring 100 centimeters by 70 centimeters. I inverted the image and what emerged was a slightly dystopian and surreal image, which seemed to me to reflect that sense of a divided consciousness. Lightscape 1 comprises layers of acetates on diffuse acrylic and measures 152 by 133 by 8 centimeters. I overlay the acetates like a collage, and the layers act as a filter through which the viewer interprets what one sees. Challenges included physically constructing the light boxes, sourcing diffuse acrylic, adhering the acrylic and acetates without damage, and selecting and installing the lights. In my video, a shadow presence was created using my own movement and light against a reflective wall which I created and a floor surface. Identifying the appropriate manual mode for video in a darker lit situation was an important learning outcome. Umbra is a Japanese gampi paper on canvas, which I stretched, measuring 250 centimeters by 150 centimeters. Applying gampi was challenging physically in its scale, but also because it's fragile and creases and tears. The finished piece has imperfections, which I deliberately decided not to paint over. It appears to me like a set of digital screens. In materializing my concept of an absent presence, I believe there is a strong conceptual cohesion and originality in my practice which is situated within current contemporary art practices, both in terms of its subject matter and use of materials. Thank you very much for your time.